you can count the number of truly iconic four-wheel drive vehicles on one hand. You got the Jeep, Land Rover, Land Cruiser, Nissan Patrol, and the Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon. While the Mercedes might be the youngest model in this group, it is the one that's remained truest to its original design more than any of those others. Mercedes-Benz's Galanda Wagon, or G-Wagon for short, was originally conceived as a military vehicle, kind of like a Jeep with a Mercedes-Benz badge on the front of it. And for 40 years, they stuck to that vehicle in that very original guise. It used the same ladder chassis, live axles front and rear, diff locks, and the same metal pressings for the body panels over that whole four decades. Come 2018, Mercedes-Benz shocked the world when it came out with a second generation of G-Wagon. This one had a wider cabin and they replaced the front live axle with independent front suspension. Up until now, the only version available here has been the Hot Rod AMG G63 with its turbocharged V8 petrol engine. But now there's a new model, the G400D with a six cylinder diesel engine. We're up here in the Victorian Alps giving it a run. This new generation of G-Wagon retains its iconic look with its boxy body riding on a separate chassis. But that new body is now wider and more streamlined and the chassis uses independent front suspension in lieu of the trusty live axle. The G400D lands at 233,776 dollars plus on-road costs, ensuring that the vehicle, which is still handmade in Austria, remains fairly exclusive and not one you're likely to see towing a caravan around Australia, although we would like to see that. The G400D is equipped as you expect any luxury Mercedes-Benz vehicle at this price. Step inside and you're greeted by power adjustable leather seats, digital screens that stretch three quarters of the way across the broad leather cap dashboard, a 13 speaker sound system, all the luxury and safety features you expect behind the three pointed star. Most importantly for G-Wagon fans, the switches for the three locking differentials are still found proudly mounted high up on the dashboard. The new G-Wagon might have made concessions to make it a better drive, more luxurious and spacious and stylish, but it hasn't forgotten its military off-road heritage. The chassis remains a heavy-duty design with live axle at the rear and in the new double wishbone independent design up front, both suspended on coil springs all round. Both axles feature locking differentials and the centre diff locks as well for traction to all four wheels. Full-time four-wheel drive transfer case is equipped with low-range gearing. The G400D wears modest 19 inch rims wearing 275-55 tyres. This is actually a terrible wheel size for anyone wanting to fit more rugged off-road suitable tyres, but there is an 18 inch wheel option that opens up a lot more tyre choices. The G400's diesel engine is a gem. It's Mercedes-Benz's brand new 3 litre inline 6 cylinder mill that produces a stonking 700 newton metres of torque and 243 kilowatts of power making it the most powerful diesel engine that Benz has ever fitted to a passenger car. The use of the double wishbone independent front suspension system under the G-Wagon really makes the car better to drive over all conditions, whether it's on country roads like this one, gravel roads or the highway. It's a better car to drive all round. At a small price to pay in off-road ability, you really don't notice it that much. What's really impressed me with this car though, and I didn't even know it had it at first, is the adaptive shock absorbers. Now when I picked it up from the lot, I was driving out of there and I thought, wow, this thing really body rolls heaps. It's very soft in the suspension. But then before I got back to the office, I noticed how stiff it was coming in the freeway on ramp. So I thought, wow, this is strange. And then when I was looking through the specs, sure, it's got adaptive dampers. So, yeah, they work off the speed you're doing, the road surface, the driving conditions to firm up or soften up. And then you can get into the menus and select the sport or comfort modes or whatever as well. So many of those systems I've seen them before, they don't always work so well. And this system works very well. So quite impressed with that. This new inline six cylinder three litre diesel engine is a sweetheart it just hums along 700 newton meters of torque seamlessly shifting through the nine speed auto it is a gem of a combination 
a really smooth, very quiet engine. You wouldn't even know it's a diesel. You put your foot down, you get all that grunchy torque behind it, and it is really a nice package. Yeah, sure, the G63 with its big turbo V8 is something else, but no, this is practical. This thing's going to, you know, you'll be able to drive for 700 k's a day on a tank of fuel and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, this is the practical alternative when you want a G Wagon. Consumption on the combined cycle is 9.5 litres per 100. It's got a 100 litre fuel tank in it, which these days is getting rare in a new four wheel drive. So, it's a practical long distance touring vehicle just the sort of thing you want for a car like this. Dare I say, this could be the last great diesel engine from Mercedes-Benz as we move more towards electrification and EVs. The G400D really is the more practical but less sporting variant of the big G63 from AMG. But at $233,000, it's not gonna be a car for everyone. That said, it's still a fantastic four-wheel drive vehicle. It hasn't lost any of its off-road ability going to an independent front suspension. In fact, it's a better vehicle all around because it's better drivability on roads and off. The G400D is still a great alternative and a fantastic four-wheel drive vehicle if you can afford it.